Yo, what's happening guys? Coming at you from Down For Sound with a frequently asked question, or this gets brought up in car audio a lot, and that is running different voltages. Uh, some people ask about 12 volt, 14 volt, 16 volts. So I'm gonna go over a few different things that if you're looking at doing that, most of the time if you're looking at doing higher voltage and you don't know what you're doing, don't do it. <laughs> it's, it's very complicated and it's, it's so much simpler to just run a 12 volt system, run everything together. Uh, so we're gonna go over a few different ones with you. So we're gonna start out with your uh, standard 12 volt system. So obviously if you're going to have a high output or, or a big system in your vehicle, you want to have a high output alternator. So behind me, I have a few different Mechman 400 amp alternators. You can never have too much power, alternator power in my opinion. If you're looking at doing a uh, performance upgrade, I recommend going with a your alternator first or upgrading your alternator first because that's where your initial source of power comes from. So you wanna do a big three upgrade first and then you wanna upgrade your alternator or do those two at the same time. Uh, sometimes you can get away with just doing a big three upgrade on your vehicle if you're just gonna be doing like 1500 or 2000 watts. Anything over that, you're gonna to wanna to do uh, a high output alternator as well. So most vehicles come from the factory as a 12 volt setup. You're gonna be charging this around, it'll fluctuate some, but usually around 14.5 to 14.8 is a safe charging voltage for that. Some people will boost it up a little bit, but you run risk of cooking the cells inside of your batteries and that's what'll make your uh, battery swell up or it'll start spilling over your acid in your battery or just causing it to fail prematurely because you're just cooking it. So don't do that. Um, so anything that's 12 volts, your factory voltage that comes with your vehicle, I would recommend 14 to 14 eights and you'll be good there. If you get a high performance alternator, say from Mechman, that's what we sell and recommend, that's what I run on my Tahoe, and it's a direct plug and play, it's gonna be controlled by your vehicle. So uh, whatever your vehicle's computer is telling it to charge at, that's what it's going to charge at. If you're looking at doing a high performance or a higher voltage, you can do that. We offer 14 volt batteries and also 16 volt batteries. The problem with this is a lot of people order 14 volt or 16 volt batteries and they don't really know about them. So they'll order a 16 volt battery thinking like, oh, if I put this battery in with my 12 volt side, it'll boost up my voltage and it'll help me a lot. When all actuality is very bad. You don't wanna mix those two different battery, uh, battery chemistries together, your 12 volt and your 16 volt because they'll end up fighting each other and one of them will fail or maybe both of them. So um, if you're wanting to run a separated high performance or high voltage setup on your vehicle, it may be possible if you have a vehicle, say my Tahoe, it's a 98 Tahoe. Uh, most Chevy GM vehicles are able to be uh, have a, a secondary or third or four alternators put on their, uh, on the motor because it's a very common one. So on my Tahoe, I have one 12 volt, uh, 370 amp alternator that runs my truck and my 12, 12 volt uh, amplifiers such as the, um, the ones for the mids and highs. Everything to do with the truck, the computers, uh, all that stuff, and the um, uh, 12 volts and amplifiers for the mids and highs, they all run off of that one alternator and a couple of batteries in the back. However, I have four alternators that are for my 16 volt side run my base amps. The batteries that I'm running back there are the Yinlong cells and we have them set up in a configuration where they need to be charged at around 17 to 17 and a half volts. So um, in my situation, running the Sundown Audio NS2s, they perform and put out the most power at a higher voltage. So that's why I have it set up this way. However, they're new amplifiers of salt series they have been totally made for uh, operating on lower voltage that's what salt or salt stands for sundown audio low voltage technology so you're going to get tons of power out of them running them at a 12 volt side because um, a lot of companies are trying to get away from the higher voltage stuff because it causes a lot of issues um, or a lot of it can be issues and confusion, complications, where a lot of people that are trying to do it have no business trying to do that. So, um, however, if you are wanting to go down that road and you want to say run a 14 volt setup, you would need to get a high performance alternator. You, well, first of all, you'll need to get a secondary alternator bracket, which we have those for your standard vehicles, your GM trucks and stuff like that. Some Ford, some uh, other vehicles, you can take that out on the website. But um, you'd want to get a secondary alternator or 
three or four, however many, if you're the bigger your system, the more alternators you're gonna need. So, but if you're just wanting to run a 14 volt setup, you're gonna need to get a dual alternator bracket, a high performance alternator that's gonna be able to be externally regulated. Most alternators will have to be modified uh, where like MechMan can uh, modify this alternator to where it just has two leads coming out of the alternator. You would have two wires coming out of the alternator right here and then the two wires coming off there would go onto your uh, your fields right here. So you have, so if you see right here, I don't know if you can see that, positive, negative, and field. So the uh, field wire would go over to the alternator and this potentiometer right here is what you would turn to adjust your voltage up on this alternator only. So you'd have one alternator that would be in your factory location. It would be running your truck and everything like that. That wouldn't be messed with. But this alternator, you'd be able to turn it up to 14 or 16 volts. Um, well, if you have a 14 volt setup, you'd want to charge it at uh, 16 and a half to 17. If you have a 16 volt setup, you would want to charge it at uh, 19 to 19 and a half volts. So uh, you have to be able to turn it up. So that's how you turn it up with, with the potentiometer right here. So if we're looking at the Excess Power 14 volt Group 31 battery, you'll see that it looks exactly like the D3112 volt battery. So on the casing, they're exactly the same size with the chemistry on the inside, the way that they're made up is totally different. So this one's gonna be able to run a higher voltage for the 14 volt side, where this one, you can drop it into your vehicle on a 12 volt system, no problem. Usually the higher the voltage, the more power you get out of your amplifiers, but it's only if they're able to handle that voltage because if you're, say for instance, the Sundown Audio Salt Series amplifiers, they go into protect on the high side around 15 and a half to 15.8 volts. So if you try to run a 14 volt system uh, in, or electrical on your vehicle with you having salt series amplifiers, as soon as you turn the amp on, it's gonna go into protect instantly. So you're not even gonna be able to use your amplifier because your voltage is too high. So you have to look into all these things when you're looking at doing a high performance or a high voltage setup in your vehicle. Uh, but again, if you're just doing everyday basing, stuff like this, 12 volts gonna be the way to go. Way easier, way less complicated uh, than trying to do a 16 or 14 volt setup on your vehicle. Um, only I would only recommend that if you're just strictly doing competition, you need higher voltage on amps that can run higher voltage and you get better performance out of them. Usually higher voltage, uh, the, the amplifiers will draw a little less amperage and they'll put out more power uh, doing it at the voltage. So that's something to look at. Anyway, I know this has been kind of lengthy, but I was trying to put it all out there for you. If you've been contemplating going a higher voltage setup or staying 12 volt. So again, beginners stay 12 volt, or if you're just everyday basis, stay 12 volt, it's so much easier. If you're doing strictly competition, then you could look into going higher voltage. So hope this video has found you well and helps you out in your decision making on moving forward. If you need high performance electrical upgrades for your vehicle, don't forget to check out MechMan alternators and excess power batteries on downforcepanelshop.com. See you in the next one. Yo, what's up guys? If you wanna see more of the hot content that you just saw in that video, be sure to follow me on all my social media channels from YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, uh, TikTok, The Life of Price is my handle on there. Also have Down for Sound Shop on Facebook and Instagram, and don't forget Snapchat is JPD4S. Check out all the hot content on there as well.